Alright. Welcome back. Episode 2. We're going to escape from the pit. <clears throat> okay. We last left off. Our intrepid adventures just left the arrival caves and rescued. I don't know, some lady. I forget her name. Brissa or something like that. Alright. But we did level up. So we're going to do this real quick. Okay. So some of these skills are pretty generic. I'm kind of tempted to go with pole weapons. I really like doing um, like spears and halberds and stuff. Um, so I think with red eye points to spend one to get strength. Um, I think with red eye, I'm going to do pull weapons. Um, can I refund this? I guess not. Let me just start with a tough luck. Um, just going to use pull weapons in combat. Both damage done and your chance to hit. So I like that. Alright. What's this? Blade Master. Level these up yet? No? Oh. Oh, I guess so. I have one point to spend. I feel like I need to just focus on all around. Oh, you can only increase it one per level? Okay. Alright, that's fine. So this also increases damage and chance to hit. I kind of want to go with damage um, and chance to hit. I want to make sure I'm hitting. have a trait. Each level increases your strength by one. Seems good. Mighty blows. Backstab, good health. Just strength there. Improves chance to hit. So I really kind of like this. Um, this seems like kind of a throwaway, but I don't really have. I'm assuming these are all grayed out. Yeah. I'm gonna go with strength. I, I want to be able to hit. Um, so now, if we look at red eye. Just here? Okay, 5 plus 1. So 6 strength. That's pretty good. It's like double my next highest stat. Is there any, like... Oh, oh no, yeah, I want him there. That looks good too. Alright. Next. A bear. My priest. S. I guess. Priestess. Uh, well. Okay. Alright, that looks good. Yeah, I don't... Okay, priest... Ability to cast priest spells, the higher the level of this, the... Oh, sorry, the more spells you can cast and the more effective those spells will be. Each spell has a minimum priest skill. Okay. How familiar you are with the magical lore? You used to go to magical inscriptions and spells. That sounds useful. I don't care about first aid, I don't think.
I'm wondering if I have an arcane lore and then Chath focuses on cave lore? That seems right. That seems good. I kind of want to just be better. But this is kind of tempting too. Um, do I want better spells or more? Let's go with better. Oh, I have to do something. Okay, good deal. Energy by five percent. Hmm. I don't know which is better. But intelligence would definitely give more. But I think this will be better in the long run. Okay. I don't know. I don't know, man. We're just doing it. Okay. Uh, yeah, this guy's going to be melee. Um, I'm going to do dual wield. I think that sounds pretty rad. He's going to go big here. Can I get up here yet? i got to work my way up there, I think. I, I really want to be able to hit. I feel like that's really important. Sure hand. Yeah. And shave. Keith, whatever. Yeah, we're gonna go intelligence. give her cave lore. I've got to have someone with tool use, I think, so I'm going to do nimble fingers. Seems good. All right. All right. So we are partied up, and there's this dude that says, don't attack! A small man runs towards you, waving his arms. His skin is incredibly pale in the strange light from the fungal ceiling. When he reaches you, he stops and bends over, hands on his knees, breathing heavily. When he regains his breath, he says, Don't attack! I am Andrew the Greeter! We are Avernites! We are here to welcome and help you! Um, I kind of already know why they weren't here, so I'm going to say, A thug named Lagren just came out this way. Did you catch him? Andrew looks embarrassed. We tried! When he ran out, his face was covered. By the time we were sure he was the killer and not an innocent arrival, he had already fled. Really? You have like all these... Oh, no wonder they're sleeping. Look at that. Zzz. I was the one who defeated him, or, and you just let him escape? Andrew takes a step back and inspects you. You have the look of a warrior with some potential. It is good. With all the forces that threaten us, I've earned them these warriors like you. I'm sure he will be found. What happens to me? Well, your new life begins. Now that you have emerged, I have something to say to you. Yeah, okay, yes. As Andrew speaks, the guards nearby watch solemnly. Each of them want, went through the same ceremony, the beginning of a new life. Andrew says, on behalf of Raverna, I welcome you to your new home here in the darkness. <laughs> Our lot is hard. But we are free of the crushing hand of the Empire. We offer you peace and aid as long as you aid us in return. He smiles weakly. That is all. We have some aid for you. Then you can go out and start your new life. Ooh. You called yourself the Greeter. It is my task. I wait for new arrivals such as yourselves and welcome them. He bows. Welcome to Avernum. <laughs> Why are you welcoming me? It is my job. Okay. I'm here to ease the considerable shock of being cast into the underworld, of course. So, welcome to the underworld, he pauses to think. Also, I'm here to say where you can get information about Avernum and supplies. Oh, excellent. Avernum is what we call this place. 
countless miles of tunnels, caverns, and icy subterranean rivers. It is your new home, he smiles sadly. This guy's kind of gloomy. Jeez, I couldn't get someone more chirpy. In ancient times, Avernum was one of the names of the, uh, for the underworld. It was the place where souls were sent to ju be judged when their lives were over. Appropriate, yes. That's all for now. Um, where are these supplies? We can provide two things for you here, supplies and information. Once you know where you can go and have a few coins to get yourself established, we send you on your way. To prevent certain problems, new arrivals are sent to tour to get modest supplies to support themselves until they find work. He's in the building to the south. We found doing otherwise results in desperate, dangerous, and violent new citizens. This way, you'll have a fair chance. What you do with it when you leave here is your business. Can I just stay here? That is a common question. I'm afraid not. This fort is small, and we already have all the defenders we need. The rest of Avernum needs you. Information is always useful. Thyral is in the town sage. He lives and works in the building just a little bit to the southwest. He's a bit glum. Wow, compared to this guy. But he does his job well. He will answer your questions as best he can. Of course, you should get supplies first. Let's go get supplies then, I guess. You need signs. Tour supplies, perfect. Ah, he has something for me as he wields a giant sword. Not at all alarming. There's a tall man sitting behind the counter wearing bronze armor. Behind him is a large rack of crude stone and bronze weapons. He recognizes you as a new arrival in an instant. Don't, don't recognize you and I recognize everyone. You must be new, he raises and shakes your hand. You can see how desperately pale years down here have made him. I am Tor. I'm here to give you some supplies before you go on your way. Where do you get the supplies you give out? Some are sent here by the army. Others are sent by the Empire. Sometimes they give us weapons and food and other things. We find them in the arrival caves with the new exiles. Can I have some supplies? Tor nods. Make some notes on a scroll made of crude parchment and you a pouch. Some dried meat and a loaf of unappealing slightly gray bread. <laughs> <clears throat> this is the starting allowance all new arrivals are given to help them get established. We want you to become productive citizens of Avernum as soon as possible. Good luck to you. <laughs> what do you do here? Well, sometimes I maintain the weapons of the guards. Sometimes I guard travelers going to Silvar. But I spend most of my time giving supplies to newcomers. There's Silvar. Silvar is the closest town to the west. Very good place to find work if you need it. You should ask Thyral about it. His office is the next building to the south. Do the weapons need lots of maintenance? He looks back at them with the same. Pretty crude work, huh? Good metal is rare down here. Tools to work it rare still. And enchanted items? Good luck finding them. Magical items? They can be found. Sometimes. Some are made at the Tower of Magi. Also, when Avernum was first discovered, these empires sent many explorers down here. A lot of them were killed, but the equipment remains. Such items are rare and valuable and precious, though. I wouldn't go hunting them. Better to live a peaceful life in one of the forts, I think. That's all for now, thanks. Let's see what we got. Uh, inventory. Ste oh, no, I don't want to steal anything. Uh, I got some real crap here. Some food. I think I had all this. Oh. Alright. Mm -hmm. Dunbar. The sign says, Office of Thyro. New arrivals may receive guidance and reassurance here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do you say? Only unending something? You see a slender, worried-looking man wearing the robes of a mage. Somehow, despite the crude surroundings, he is impeccably dressed. He sits behind a desk laden with books and scrolls. When you enter, he lets out a world-weary sigh. Ah, another arrival. Another unfortunate. 
I am Thyral, and I can give you information you can use to settle on life here. Alas, the news is all bad. <laughs> okay. You can tell me about Avernum? He grimaces, I'm here to help you, even if the help causes great pain. Help me? Well, every day or so our benevol benevolent overlords above hurl a few more souls into this hellish cesspit. Then they come to me and I tell them just how bad things are here. He chuckles dryly. <laughs> Normally, I'd be cheery, but today, I'm just not in the mood. Anyway, I'm here to give information. Thyra looks up from behind his desk and grimaces, says, You want to know more? I will tell you what I can. But learning about Avernum only leads to despair. What can you tell me about Avernum? He grimaces, uh... Yes, for example, on our lovely neighbors, the Nephilim and the Slitheriki, I don't know, man, or on the chance for escape, or on how you get supplies, or on the local politics, the Nephilims you've heard of. There are many of them on the surface, however, until you arrived in Avernum, you had never heard of the Slitheriki. What are the Slitheriki? Slitherikai? Kai? Maybe? I don't know. Lizardmen. Only live below ground. Intelligent, powerful fighters. Very magically talented. We've been at war with them for years, and lately things have been at a stalemate. They live to the west. Who runs things down here? Each town has a mayor. The mayors form a council. The council coal rules with King Micah, lord of our homey little pit. Micah lives in the Great Cave. To get there, go a ways south and a ways west. By the way, the council meets in the castle. It's a place you should know about. What is the castle? It's our pride and joy. We built a real castle of rocks, crude magic, and spit. <laughs> King Micah lives there, orchestrating our desperate defenses. You should see it. It's reasonably impressive. It's in the Great Cave to the southwest. That's all. I don't know. talk about it anymore. What's this guy? Dunbar, you see a worn and scared middle-aged man. He has thin, washed-out look. You already associate with many years in Avernum. You hope your time here is kinder to you. He carries a potted plant and a shovel. <laughs> He nods to you and sets down the pot for a moment. I'm Dunbar, he says. Welcome. What's your job? I'm the groundskeeper and gardener. And fix it, man. I like gardening best, but I do what they need. Tell me about the plants. Well, we've bred some pretty weird plants down here. All sorts of mushrooms for food and fodder. Those weird twisted trees give what little wood we have and so on. Mages make the plants. I grow them. How do trees grow down here? Amazing, aren't they? The roots dig into the rock and the leaves absorb moisture from the air. They get light from the fungus above. I can't figure out how those chronic things stay alive, but they do. I've never heard of trees like these. That's because they were created down here by the wizards. They live in a tower to the south or something. All the wizards go there. They do all the standard weird stuff with demons and such, but they make plants too. Without them, we'd all be dead. That's all for now, thanks. How long have you been down here? Hard to tell, though. Tough to keep track of years without being able to see the sun. Sometimes they say what. Sometimes they say what year it is, but I don't s see why I should believe them. <laughs> they can't see the sun any more than I can. For a long time? Yes, a long time. Building, fighting, tending to my garden. He looks down at a vicious scar on his arm. Like the gardening best. Wow. A little grim. A little grim. Alright. Let's keep looking around. We got a lovely statue here. In here. This is the storeroom where the surface goods the Empire occasionally sends down through the portal are stored before they're distributed throughout the firm. Understandably, goods from the surface are very valuable down here. There's an Avernite wandering around the streets of the fort looking for new arrivals. He wears a jerkin of thick lizard hide and a bow of black wood hangs from his shoulder. The moment he sees you, he almost rushes to greet you. Welcome to Avernum, he says. I am Varen. You look newly arrived, and if you don't mind me saying, a bit aimless. 
I have an opportunity for you. Who are you looking for? People like you. People with talent. Skill with a blade or with magic. The sort of people who could help a Vernon. Help a Vernon to what? Vernon looks grim. To survive. Our battles are whether you like it or not. Your battles. Your aid may be the thing that tilts the balance in the favor of every human in the underworld. What is this opportunity? The opportunity to fight for Vernum, so what we can, so that we can all survive, and in return, you can gain what little renown and comfort is available in this dark place. Tell me more. He nods. A wise choice. You should go to Silvar, west of here, and meet the mayor. I have been sent to recruit people like you, and I think you will find the work to your liking. That is all. I will leave you to regain your barracks. He nods and walks out, looking for other potential recruits. Kinda want this dude to go away so I can steal some loot. Fat loot. Oh, I'm also stuck. valuable? Let's see. Does that work? No one hates me? No. Guards. It's over here. It says surface good storage on it. Authorized Abernites keep out. Sugar. I think that's valuable. Guard. Sleep. Excellent. What's in here? Books, maybe? I don't know. Here's a thing. Now there's Baron. Guard. This is like a guard room. Time for break, he says. Yeah, sure, why not? It's in here. Hmm. Yawn. He's a good guard. Keisha, you meet a powerfully built woman. She wears chainmail with a sun insignia painted on the chest. It is faded and chipped, but still visible. Her red cheeks contrast strongly with the paleness of the rest of her skin. She sizes you up and nods slightly. Heard you've been fighting from the moment you got here. You didn't just curl up and die. I approve. She shakes your hand. I'm Acacia. What is that design on your armor? You point out the insignia, it's crude drawing of the sun. This, it's our symbol, the seal of Vernum. It reminds us of where we came from and where we hope to return. Any advice where you should go? Anywhere, wherever you go, there will be someone trying to take our land or find a tasty human to eat. The most warriors who arrive here head west to Silvar first. The mayor hit there as soft block for new arrivals. Of course, some people want to find a way to escape the underworld. Fools, if you ask me. We had one of them through just a few weeks ago. Tell me more. Well, I met him. Someone tried to use one of those strange blue crystals to make a portal to the surface. It was a mad idea, and it wouldn't work. We made the fool leave before he gave any of the new exiles ideas. Uh, what is his name? Oh, I can't remember. No, oh, thanks. He said he was heading up to Formello, though. They're welcome to him. People who trifle with unknown magics are dangerous to everyone around. What are what strange blue crystals? When the first people arrived in Avernum, they found a few of these bizarre crystals. When you looked into them, they talked to you, spoke in your mind. Most of them are lost, but there are still a few around if you look hard. Some of them even teach interesting things, when they don't drive you mad. Good deal. 
Court of Vernon Barracks. I don't really care about the barracks. What's over here? Or something. Work. You meet a young woman with long black hair. She is sitting at a table eating a bowl of thin lizard soup. Her skin has not yet attained the paleness of one who has spent a lot of time in a room. When you get close, her head jerks up. Once she has seen who you are, she returns to her soup, disappointed. Have a seat, fellow exile. Have a seat, fellow exile. I'm work. We might as well regain our strength before you go out into the wilds. <clears throat> you seem like a recent arrival. Why were you sent down here? She looks down at the table. I have already learned that th that that is a rude question to ask. People are sent to a vernon because their secrets are revealed. Once here, they want them to become secrets again. She turns away. The conversation ends. Talk to her again. Have you arrived recently at Fort Averno? No, I have been here for weeks, asking people if they have heard of the one who has sent down before me. Her name was Anastasia. She was sent here a few years ago, and I don't want to leave until I know where she is. I haven't met anyone named Anastasia, but I'll remember that you're looking for her. Thank you. I would appreciate that. Despondent, she turns back to her suit. What does that do? Oh. Oh, oh that's cool. Well, I'll delete that, because that was... Pretty useless, but uh, interesting. Meal hall, office, rival caves. Looks like I missed some of the town up here. Oh, a river. Um, guards. Alright, let's go talk to Diane. You see a quiet, frail woman. She's picking mushrooms. They're big, bloated, brown things, different from any such fungus you ever saw on the surface. When she notices that you're watching her, she blushes and stares into her basket. Greetings, she says in a quiet voice. I am Diane. <laughs> Those are big mushrooms. <laughs> Aren't they lovely things, though the taste is bitter? They are most of what we eat down here and drink, and what we feed our livestock. They don't grow on the surface. No, the wizards of the Tower of Magi created them using ordinary mushrooms and powerful magic. We depend on them. Without them, we could not live down here. Uh, what do you do here? I came he here with Thor, my husband. Now that I am here, I help as best I can by cooking mainly. You're the cook? Well, a couple times a week I cook meals for everyone here. I'm actually a very good musician, and I sing, but there's not much call for that around the fort. Oh well, we won't be here forever. Could you sing something for me? She sings a song for you, which you've never heard before. It is long and sad, about life in caves and missing the sun above. She has a beautiful voice. That's all for now. Oh, you step out of Fort Avernum and get your first good look at your new home. You're at the east end of an enormous cavern, many miles across. In the dim green light, you can look out through the mist and see a huge forest of the strange fungal trees. A dark river flows by to the south and to the west, and you can dimly make out the lights of a town. Although you're far underground, it's not as quiet and peaceful as you thought it would be. The sounds echo well in this cavern. You can dimly make out the hisses of lizards, flowing water, and unnervingly, the growls of distant humanoids. Your journey into Avernum is about to begin. Alright. Here we are. Um good RPG player. Take this chance to save. Alright, uh, and <laughs> weird fingers. Um, I think they said west, right? So I'm assuming this is north and this is west. What are these guys? Is there a look? Fort of Vernum. I'm going here to Silvar. Oh, there's some more. Four, oh, four mellows way up here. There's the Great Cave. Castle. There are Magi right down there. Interesting. Okay. 
Uh, special encounter. There's a patrol of Avernite militiamen watching the road between Fort Avernum and Silvar. Their weapons and armor are crude and dented, clearly passed down from warrior to warrior for decades. They warn you to watch out for goblins and bandits, and then continue their patrol. Thank you. Very friendly. Alright. I believe this will be Silvar. Enter one of Vernum cities. Well, they would call it a city. By Emperor standards, it's a miserable collection of crumbling stone hovels perched on the shore of a black icy river. The dim green glow from the luminescent moss above gives everything an eerie look. As you enter, one of the guards mutters, Welcome to Silvar, newcomer. Strangers are welcome here if they watch themselves. They wave you by. Hey, it's cows. A cave cow. Cave cows, that sounds nice. Uh, I think the gate mechanism. Uh, what's this sign? Rations and supplies. I don't want to. Walk around Silver here, and then we'll probably call it an episode. City Hall. So that's probably where we need to go talk to the mayor. This must be some kind of job board. Special encounter. There is a cave wood board on the south end of this path, hanging from two posts. Several sheets of papyrus have been tacked to it. This must be a job board where people in need of assistance can post appeals for help. Stasia's armor. Well, that quest was easy. Hall of Training. Ignorance cured for a reasonable fee. <laughs> okay. Swish. He needs to pay more fee. Or the mess hall. Okay. Exit. It's here. Gruber's weapons out of business. But that's locked. Yeah. Krantz Boatworks. Hmm. Okay. Oh, here's the boat. Ah, but you can get boats. Okay, cool. Makes sense. Water water. Just fill out the town here. Big crossbow right there. Uh, ooh, uh, n not today. Okay. <clears throat> swing, swing, swing. All right, those guys are swinging away. All right, Anastasia does not believe in windows. So, I am going to leave it here. Did a lot of reading. <laughs> Did a lot of reading. Um, stumbled on a few words, but I think we're doing pretty good. Uh, made it to our second town, Silvar, outside of Florida Burnham. Uh, any good RPG player, I'm going to save now. I'm going to save off. And we're going to leave off right... Well, we could park in the middle of the town. Several of the Vernum trees have wood, have fungus around a small pond. There are neither lily pads nor ducks. There is, however, a lot of this gym. And tiny lizards frolic about. Strange, you hear some humming nearby, but the sound doesn't seem to be coming from any of the town's folk. Living statue. We'll talk to him when we get back. Uh, so, thank you for joining me. Uh, that's it for this episode.